Located in Englewood, just east of downtown Indianapolis, is the Alley House. The Alley House is a two-family dwelling. Each unit has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The West Unit is competing in the U.S. Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon Build Challenge. This house was designed through a collaboration of students from multiple majors in both graduate and undergraduate programs with the support of the community, faculty, and staff. As we enter into the West Unit, you can see the combination of daylighting and strategically placed LED lighting, which creates a bright open living space. The living room is complemented by a large open kitchen, allowing the light from the south facing windows to filter through the space. The Media Center was designed by students to allow for a modular storage system, increasing user flexibility. One of the most important design goals of the Alley House is to create a home which is intergenerationally adaptable. The way we achieved this was by having a fully accessible bathroom and bedroom, both located on the first floor. Having these spaces allows older residents or residents with disabilities to live with equal access. The bedroom and bathroom both have windows, which allow natural light to supplement the mechanical system. The majority of the windows in both units are operable. The windows have been placed and sized to allow for cross ventilation in the hotter months. The integration of passive and active systems is essential for the sustainability of the alley house. For ventilation, the West Unit has a multi zone inverter heat pump distributed through a short ducted low static ventilation system. This system is sized quite smaller than typical homes because of our high performance envelope. In this open space, we also see the exposed concrete floor. This acts as a thermal mass in the winter when the lower sun shines through the south-facing windows. The south-facing windows also allow views into the east-west alley, which is one of the core design considerations in the alley house's development. The large open living space with the adjacent kitchen allows the views, light, and sun to penetrate through the entire home. This natural lighting and heating lowers the load on the mechanical system even more. The house is to be certified as net zero and any needed electrical power is satisfied by the solar panels located on the roof. As we move upstairs, we can see the large windows placed on the corner, which allow for a fully naturally lit stairwell and views of the neighborhood. The first space on the second floor is something we have termed a flex space. This space can be used for anything the residents require. It is currently shown as a play space. It could be transformed into an office, reading nook, game room, and much more. This space also has large south-facing windows for lighting and built-in cabinetry following the same modular system as the living room. The flex space enables all types of families to fit comfortably in the alley house. Because our client is Englewood CDC, we do not know the particular residents to occupy the home, so having flexibility was essential to the design. The Englewood CDC has a rent-to-own program, which enables the residents the option to purchase the home after 15 years. The rent for this unit is estimated to be $1,900 less every year than a code minimum home in Indianapolis. This financial freedom is yet another way the Alley House becomes accessible to all types of families. The second floor has two bedrooms and a full bathroom, although either room could be converted into whatever the current resident needs. The second bedroom has built-in cabinetry and both rooms have large closets with additional storage higher up. The floor upstairs is marmoleum with a dark gray finish a very durable as well as sustainable material. The bathroom located on the second floor houses the laundry. There's also hookup north of the house on the exterior porch if future residents need first floor access. The bathroom is set up in a linear fashion with the vanity and storage placed on the south side and the shower and toilet on the north. There is a high window in the bathroom letting diffuse northern light flood the space. All the countertops in the unit are constructed from marble remnants, allowing us high quality pieces for a lower price. The home is accented with birch veneer throughout the whole space. The built-in, shelving, and all the kitchen cabinetry are made from birch veneer. All the kitchen cabinetry as well as the built-ins are designed and constructed by students for the home. As we re-enter the flex space, we can see a better view out the windows of the neighborhood. These windows also let tons of light inside. The stair core is extended up to a double height. This allows natural light to flood the space. Stair core also acts as a vent for natural stack ventilation. By opening the higher windows in unison with lower windows, the difference in pressure forces heat to filter out. The heightened stair core is emphasized by the railing, which has a vertical aesthetic. The stair core is also emphasized by the vertical exterior siding on this section of the home. As we move back downstairs, we get another view of the open spaces and the natural flow that occur within the entry level of the alley house. 
The Alley House is to be Passive House certified as well as is working towards site certification. These certifications are possible through all the integration and intentional design. The interior of the Alley House is something of great pride for many students and the collaboration that went into making it possible has been a great educational moment for all. As we move outside, we can begin to see the pergola and planter system, all student design and built from thermally modified wood. The pergola acts as weather protection and shading. The planters are sized deep enough to grow lots of different produce. This enables the residents the option to grow their own food. The paving for the front porch space is made from limestone donated by People for Urban Progress and was salvaged from the demolition of an Indianapolis public school. Both units have equal access to the porch, this is important for the community as Indianapolis has a very strong porch culture. The Alley House manages all stormwater on site through a system of native rain gardens, bioswales, and two 100 gallon rain barrels. The north side of the site has a Gabion retaining wall made from recycled stones. Here we can see a better view of the vertical siding. This is used to emphasize the heightened stair core, which enables stack ventilation. Overall, the Alley House went into this competition with the goal to create affordable, sustainable housing which is accessible to everyone. Thank you to all the students, faculty, staff, community partners, sponsors, and friends that are making this goal a reality.